Now today I'm going to be using an eight foot Canyon Creek ultra, super ultralight rod, real limber. And here he is. There's that's a black crappie. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of roadrunner fishing right here. And I'm going to show y'all or tell y'all how I modified this bait to catch more crappie. I've been catching a lot of crappie right here in this area. A lot of good crappie. It's been holding some good fish, I guarantee you. And that one's full of shad. But I'm going to show you a little bit about what I know about the Roadrunner. Y'all see that, folks? He's fat, fat with shad. Let's let him go right here. That's a black crappie. This is a Roadrunner. A one sixteenth of an ounce, but it, it really isn't. It's about a one thirty second of an ounce. Now, what I done, uh, those of y'all who knows about road runners, I took and I clipped right up under there, right right at the bend of the bait, and took the lead off the shank of the hook, wrapped it with dental floss and glued this bait right here on it, which is a real short one. It's blue and sharp trues. Now, the reason that I'm using such a short bait right here, and this is a brush, brush hog jig right here. The reason I'm using such a small and compact bait today is because two days ago, there was a major front that went through here. And small baits always work for me after fronts. And uh, like I said, I'm using an eight foot Canyon Creek Super Ultralight Rod. It is limber and long. I can maintain control of this little bait perfectly. And I can make long casts with it. I'm using four pound test Mr. Crappie line, making long casts. The water is not but three and a half, four feet back here. These fish are shallow. real shallow and the water temps at 49 degrees on top on the surface so it's cold out here this sun's helping a little bit i tell you what i was so cold when i started this morning i was i stove up there's another fish that's a crappie too that fish hit it on the fall There's just been a lot of fish out here on this flat. And this is just a flat. Just a shallow flat off the main lake. That's a good fish. Real doggone good fish. Look here. That fish hit it on the fall. He, he could. That 132nd ounce Roadrunner which it was a 1 16th, falls slow enough to where they can grab it on the fall, even in four feet of water. That is a good little modification to a bait to catch more fish, I guarantee you. You don't want a bait that falls real slow, not right now. I mean, real quick, not right now. All right, goodbye, black crappie. But I hadn't been catching fish like that. What I've been doing is making a long cast, letting it fall about two and a half feet deep, throwing that rod up at around nine, ten o'clock position and reeling it back real slow. That spinner on the bottom side of that bait, which is just a little Colorado blade, is barely spinning. That's what's attracting these fish. They're feeding on shad, so that little bit of vibration and flash is getting the job done. And it has been for the last two or three weeks. I've been really catching a lot of fish by doing this right here. But on a bait like this, just a slow wind at the depth that you find the crappie, whatever it could be, whatever it may be, is roadrunner fishing.
There he is. Yeah, golly, I can't tell y'all how this fish is fighting. He's a good one. That's why he's fighting like this. Look here. They... That Blakemore Roadrunner is a great, great bait to catch crappie with. I'm not kidding, folks. And uh, a lot of times I'll put a Bobby Garland on the back of it or a Strike King bait on the back of it, a two-inch. But now cold fronts, there's no doubt that a short quit. A short bait is going to catch you more fish. That's a good fish right there. That's a big crappie right there. That's a big one. My goodness. My, 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 my. Mama Sue's got plenty of crappie in the freezer. That's why I'm letting these go. We got plenty. That is a good black crappie to quit. You don't do that. You're mean. And you're looking at me sideways. Now you go on. That's all they are to it. It was a 1 16th. I cut it down to a 1 32nd. Tied a Palomar knot in here. And that little Indiana blade right there is the ticket. That's the ticket. But now I buy these. You can buy them for, I believe it's a three pack that you can buy these. I just buy the jigs. Not. I don't like them pre-tied pre up because I like to do my own adjusting on my own baits i know what i need at the time according to the weather conditions but be careful when you buy these baits the reason is is because a lot of times they'll paint this swivel right here and this blade don't turn it won't turn that paint will clog up that swivel and uh deems that bait completely ineffective you've wasted your money so look for that. If you see paint on that swivel, don't buy it. They... There's another. Golly. Crappie will fight if you'll match your tackle. I keep saying that, but what it is, I want everybody to have, their, have fun out here, folks. I can't stand the railroad of fish, but if you'll get you a limber rod, light line, and just fight them, let them fight, they're a hard pulling fish. See, that fish ain't done yet. He's getting close. That's a good one right there. My, my, my. We'll net him. He's not hooked too good, none of them are there. I'm just causing these fish to bite. I'm making them bite. Golly, what a crappie. Doggone, what? Whoa, we what a crappie fish. Now folks, when I'm catching crappie like that, it's hard for me to move. What I need to be doing is going across the lake and hunting some fish. But it is so difficult when you're catching fish 12 and a half, 13, 13 and a half inches long to leave them. Woo! Yep. Clarence has still got guys. All right, folks, let's get into the modification of this Roadrunner right here. Now, if you've noticed, uh, well, to start with, this is a 1 16th of an ounce Roadrunner. That's all I can find around here. Cannot find a 1 32nd. I'm sure they make them, but this is what I do anyway. This is 1 16th of an ounce. Now, the lead, this lead has already been cut comes to about well, it comes way down probably about that far down to to the end of my finger right there now what i do to modify it to turn a 1 16th into about a 30 second is that i cut that lead off with side cutters i cut it off um 
And then the next thing that I do that's real, real important is I take dental floss, or it's important to me. It keeps that bait on permanently. Now I'm gonna keep my hands in frame right here, but what I do, and this dental floss that I'm using right here has no wax on it. I just start at the head right here and then I'll wrap all the way down to about right there then I'll return that route back up, back up towards the head like this all the way up I hope y'all can see that you don't have to be real fancy with your wrapping either it don't make any difference this is just to, to create a, a permanent bond where whatever jig that you select to put on here won't slide and slip. I'm having some trouble right here trying to keep it in frame, but then I'll tie a knot, two knots, I'm just going to tie one right there. I'm having a lot of difficulty keeping everything in frame. And I'll snip it off close as I can without cutting a knot. Then I'll take a cigarette lighter and just melt it to draw it up like that. Okay, so what I've got right here is a bait that will fish shallow water perfectly, anywhere from two to four feet of water. A one sixteenth of an ounce is a little bit heavy. You have to retrieve it too quickly to get the bites that you could get if you would slow the bait down to half the speed. And a one thirty second, well, it'll slow it down to half the speed. But um, another thing I'll do is fixing the rain. Y'all can see it's dark and overcast, so I'm gonna prepare for that. If I have to use a underspin here in a day or two this is a muddy water color right here it's a big bite bait which i like these baits too looks like a bobby garland except for it's shaped a little bit different okay let's go ahead and put this bait on right through the center dead center come out just about right there that's pretty close. Now the type of glue, for a demonstration, type of glue that I like is loose, uh, Loctite, excuse me. This stuff right here, and it's gel control, it's gel. It holds a jig better than any glue that I've ever used. And I've used this stuff for years, different brands. This stuff is the real deal. So once I get my jig on there, I'll go ahead and I'll put this lock Loctite on there and it don't take much slip it back make sure everything is straight now when that sets folks I'm gonna tell you something you can catch a limit of crappie and here it's 30 crappie per person without this tearing up it's nothing but effective it's efficient and it was necessary to make that modification to fish two to four or five feet of water to be able to reel it real slow. Hey, man. Whoa! Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. Wow. There he is. Well, I'll be doggone, folks. I found me another area. What about that? Two in one day? That's pretty good when it comes to crappie fishing. Where you've never fished. That's a good son of a gun. Look here. Golly, where are you going, boy? Quit. Big old black crappie. I mean, a good one. That ain't no little old fart sniffer right there. That's a good one, folks. Let's let him go.
Glide, glide. Now two areas. Go on. I don't like her a dead blank bit. Can't stand being around that old woman. All she does is run to the doggone curtains and pull it open and look and look. And make sure she don't miss something or somebody might have done something, you know, that she don't know about. She's nosy. And then she'll grab her old fly swatter and swat a few flies. That old woman, she gets on my nerves. I want to say, first of all, thank y'all for spending a few minutes out here with me doing a sport well, we all love and catching a fish, which is no doubt my favorite fish to chase and catch, and that's the crappie. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for everything y'all do for this channel and all the great comments. Hey, man. Oh, and to remember, don't fish it when you can, cause it's good for you.